don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawe. Today, we're going to talk about an interesting topic that has been plaguing Ghana football for a while now. I'm sure you've heard about it, you've heard so many quarters talk about it, and it's something that has hit me, and I feel I should express my opinions on that. It's about the captaincy issue in the Ghana Black Stars, and it possibly being the reason why we have not been doing well at major tournaments as usual if you're new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates so a couple of weeks now i've been perusing through the internet online looking for information to bring to you guys and i came across an article that talked about the captaincy issue in 1992 where if you haven't watched the 1992 african cup of nations i made a video on it you can watch it up here and it talked about how the captaincy issue almost collapsed the guys i talked about it in coach kosia pierre's book that was in the leaders don't have to you also leave a link to it up here and you can watch it and learn a thing or two now in 1992 the captain of the ghana black stars before the tournament was kosia pierre now before that tournament began kosia pierre was stripped of the captain samban and it was stated that Kwesia Pia, because he was not a French-speaking person, the captaincy should be given to Abedi Pele. It was quite strange to Kwesia Pia and he decided, okay, farewell, fair enough, that's what the FA want to do. But if they are not going to give me the true reason, not any problem wrong with that, he gave up the captaincy to Abedi Pele. Now, Abedi Pele was named the captain of the Ghana Black Stars. Into the semi-final, Ghana went and a yellow card for Abedi Pele meant that he would miss out on the final he got that yellow card in the semi-final against nigeria and ghana had to now find a replacement for abedi pele in terms of the captaincy now the assistant captain at that time according to to ghanian journalist Kao Tufo, he says the assistant captain at that time was Kusia Pia. other quarters also say the assistant captain at that time was tony yebwa well at the end of the day, the captainship was given to Tony Bafo, a new person in the Black Stars team at that time. That brought a lot of issues and it was really something that hit the Ghana Black Stars squad. In the end, Ghana lost on penalties and in that game, many people said that the chances that Tony Yeboa missed was things that he would have scored a normal day. He would have closed his eyes and scored some of the goals and I think it was something that really really hurt him let's go have a listen to tony Ebua when discussing the issue of the captaincy in that time in 1992. he is not the you know uh, deserved to be it's, it's a fact because i was the captain okay. and we took the captain and we gave to the uh ability okay. so i wonder something when you have the senior player to remember what it means into the uh, national team so when it's not new crying at least the top top people are there, you know. So for me, I was thinking that this situation also costed the team a lot because everybody was shocked, and the the the, the, the coach, you know, also fixed that, you know, you know, when, before before we did the game, you know, he told us we have a letter from Ghana that. Hey. Tony Bafo has to be a cat. I don't know where the word this is from. <laughs> I don't know whether it's true or not. It was that. Wow. You know, everybody was shocked. Wow. Wow. But I was not even depressed. Oh, no problem, no problem. Let's go, let's go, let's go and play. You know, but you can see affecting the team. You see, it definitely was in my mind. I was a little bit that. We had Tony about there. It was really something that affected him. That really hurt him. It got to him. And he couldn't be the top player we all know him to be player at the top as we all know him to be and that Ghana eventually lost that tournament on penalties it was quite unfortunate i saw an article prince poli a player of the ghana black stars at that time said that even in that tournament tony Ebois refused to play any of the set plays in the 1992 african cup of nations final he was really hurt by that and i think the coach of the day has to be blamed in a way for this. But once again, my problem is, are the players playing to be to be 
given titles what is the motive for them play in the ghana black star squad yeah everyone has their motive their motivation we all know what happened recently in 2019 i'll be getting to that a little bit but i want to delve into the 1992 issue so tony Ewa was hurt as you said you heard him in the audio over there he was hurt by that decision from the ghana fa who informed the coach at that time Otto Festa, that they wanted tony Bafo to be the captain of the side many quarters felt Abedi Pele had a hand in that and that he was the one who suggested Tony Bafo to them. Tony Bafo responded to that claim from Tony Yabua about the captaincy issue and he responded to what he heard from Tony Yabua. Let's have a listen to Tony Bafo. Uh, to be honest, I was not expecting to uh, be uh, made uh, the captain. Uh, I remember we had a team meeting and then uh, the sister announced that uh, Anthony Bart was going to captain the team. This is how uh, it got to me. Okay. Did you get any hints from your roommates that you probably were going to be the captain of the day? You see, this is something very interesting and to tell you now. Um, people thought uh, that Abadi, uh, maybe. Uh, because we were close, we were roommates, and we didn't never ever mention anything about captainship to me. And this, uh, 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 I can assure you. Mm. Is, is there any, any iota that maybe at the time your manager probably spoke to you that, okay, Tony, there seemed to be some rift in there, but what was the reaction from your teammates when you were given the armband? What was their reaction? How did they receive you, uh, the news? My manager, I didn't have a manager. Uh, you know, I always worked uh, with a lawyer. Uh, and uh, when I went to France, uh, I worked with Pat Smith. But generally, I never really had the manager. And uh, to also set the record straight, I saw an interview from Anthony Yeboah where he said that his manager called me and to speak to management uh, that I should hand on the captainship to him. Nobody called me. Uh, this is not true, and uh, this is uh, exactly uh, what I can tell you. And I remember also uh, when uh, the late Aladdi Mokano, who was one of uh, the VT manager uh, in, in, in Saikochi, uh, also they said there are some rumors going on, uh, something going on, and I said, look, uh, whoever wants to take the captainship can take it. I, I am uh, not keen on captainship. Uh, I can only tell you that when I went to Met, uh, after three months, I was named the captain of the team. I don't think that uh, a captainship will make you win trophies. Mm. I mean, that's that's Tony, Tony your, your roommate speaking. He's obviously there. Uh, maybe once you hear your, your voice to him. Yeah. <laughs> Tony! There, Tony Bafo there, he responded to how Tony Yabua was hurt by that captaincy decision. He did not at that time think that he was it was going to be a big deal because he felt he didn't know or he felt that it doesn't matter how long you have been in a team before you can be named captain. It's something that he felt that wasn't going to hurt the team but it, apparently it did hurt the team and it did cost us a title. Captaincy issues have been something that have come up in recent times as well. In the 2019 African Cup of Nations, we heard what happened. Coach Chris Apia decided to name Andrea Yu as the captain of the Ghana Black Stars and it brought about a whole lot of issues. So I'll bring you on board to you. Samwajan, who was ranting on about the captaincy issue, first talked about how he, in his time, he has not been allowed to enjoy his captainship. Also, he spoke about the 2019 incident and Coach Chris Apia and all that. Asamwajan was not a happy bunny, obviously, threatening to quit the Ghana Black Stars. Eventually, he was brought back by the president of the day, Nanando Dankwakufuado, and he was back in the squad. Asamwajan did not like that decision. Let's go have a listen to what he had to say concerning the captaincy issues that took place in his time in the Ghana Black Stars. I don't think I'm going to have time. Your mommy enjoy captain. Me kwa regu me me so. Yeah, my man enjoy the captain da. Me maka. Any for na mo enjoy no. Mm. E mo genia. Mo e fi mo. I den yeah yeah. Me no din dey go so. Come on. Let I say man so. Eh dey dey mo na ma. Da on her side no so. Me bring me say me try front attack. I den ta. Because yeah dey mo boni be enjoy captain. Because because 
every time they are meet to uh, be a captain and a captain you see and a new captain you come hey so many years captain is a bit you so many years captain is a bit you i think it's a man who has time Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. And I'm not sure if I enjoy it. I didn't think I enjoy it. Because, I think I enjoy it. because mm. this is the time journalists, mm. they are so many agendas around. Our captains and of course, in free players, we do it. In of course, there are so many agendas. You didn't know what I say. You didn't know People say things, and when they see you, they pretend say they, they, like, they like you. It but still, okay. I know that they were interested in abandoning them. And it was okay. No, we were interested in abandoning them. The day in the for influence or decision about the appear, no, 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 and I say, Mister, which is saying, I can't do this in order to see me there. It's a balance. Hey, magic. Now, I'm going to be to your brother. I'm going to be to your brother. What do you say? Eh, but I'm not making sense. Me no, me no, we have problem. You know, because I'm just saying, I'm not. And you know, me no. At the end of the day, me rather say, me no, me no, I'm doing any problem. Never. Never I'm doing anything. Baby, 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 baby. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying. Me so we can't say. But you can't say. You don't need me. You need me. God made me the captain of Ghana. So, you can have your own opinion and you can do whatever you want. You can say whatever you want to say about me. But, what I will tell you is, God made me the captain, not human. Not human. And let me tell you one thing. Nobody can distract me. I'm just putting people, I just want to educate people right now. Nobody is distracting me because maybe somebody will think, oh, he's pissed off or he's something. Okay, yeah, I'm human. Yeah? Or maybe somebody will say, oh, okay, we've got, it, we've got his attention. Okay, you got my attention, you want to get this off. Is it the right way? Is it the right thing you're doing? Because I'm progressing? Or because I'm creating jobs for people? Because I'm paying tax? Because I'm, I'm setting companies? And let me know here, which footballer in Ghana has done that? You understand? When we talk, when we talk the truth, oh, he's that, he's that. Listen, I never talk about people. I want to make sure I wish people well. I wish people well. I wish yeah, I see yeah, 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 people progressing. Listen, and people even contact me to, to, to ask me how they made it. But when they go outside, because of hypocrisy, they go, oh, oh, and he's that. But they're forgotten. There are a lot of things going on that people don't know. But I will never reveal anything to anybody. But what I want to say is, God made me who I am right now. So he heard from a somewhat John there. He was not a happy bunny. He did not like that decision. Andre Ayu, he doesn't have anything against, but the decision to make him the captain was not something that sat well with Asamwajan. He was really disappointed by that decision and claims that the captaincy in his time, he's the one who has not really enjoyed the captaincy so much. It's quite interesting here hearing all these from all these players, meaning that probably the why for playing for the national team has not been dropped into them very well. Harry Maguire is a player for Manchester United. He only arrived recently in the team. He's now the captain of the side. So many senior players in Manchester United, but the back ends with the manager and he has the final say who he ever decides to be captain. There is no laid down rule for who will be named captain of the side. The earlier that is dropped into the heads of the Black Stars players, the better for everyone in the national team. You can't lay claim to a title, which means so much. You can't lay claim to it. You can't tell me you deserve to be the captain because of one thing or another. That is not right. Anyone can stand in and be the captain for the day. Messi was the captain, but other players are the captains on the pitch. The captaincy is just a title. It's just an armband. I don't see why the big fast over the captain's issue in recent times. It has really hurt us very, very much in major tournaments and it really gets into me. I think I have to express my opinion on that and I'm sure you do have yours and you will express it in the comments box. It's quite shocking that professionals will be fighting over this. Virgil van Dijk for Liverpool recently joined them in the winter transfer window of 2017 or 2018, I think. He is the captain sometimes when Henderson is not around. There are so many other senior players, James Milner, 
who all deserve the captainship? Do they make any qualms about that? I, I think it's, it's not right for our players to be fighting over something as trivial as the captainship. Yes, it's an honor to be the captain on the team sheet. The captain of the Ghana Black Stars, Asamoah Gyan, led them to the African Cup of Nations final. It sounds good. It has a nice ring to it. And I get why you'll be crazy about it. But guys, it is not everything. There are so many ways you can help the team. And if you really understand the basics of football, which is as a team sport, you wouldn't place so much emphasis on being named the captain of the side. It is not something to quarrel over. It is not something to take personal if you are not named the captain. Let's get over this, guys. Ghana Black Stars players, share with the Ghana Black Stars players. Yes, I've not been a footballer, professional footballer before. I might not get it, all that, but guys, but guys, I know you know it isn't a big deal. To be named the captain is an honor, but not being named the captain shouldn't be the reason why there'll be destabilization in the team. We can do better. We are playing for our country. We all want the same thing, which is a trophy. Let's not make captains the issues. Something that divides us. Yet again, I'll give it to the authorities to make better decisions next time when trying to name a captain of the Ghana Black Stars. Let the players know beforehand who the captains will be. Don't make impromptu decisions at the whim, like how Akwesiapia named Andrea, you as a substantive captain, just a few days to the tournament. He could have just left it open. And when Asamoah doesn't play, Andrea, you is the captain. Wouldn't that have been better? Yes, we all have a lot to do. But as professional players, I think if the authorities or those in charge get it wrong, this is not a cause for us to be worried about who is named captain or not. I'll leave you with a word or two from our very own Samuel Sekufo on this whole issue and he couldn't have said it any better. I'll leave the audio at the end of today's video for you to see. And let me know your opinion on this whole captaincy issue causing a lot of debacle in the Ghana Black Stars team. Your thoughts and everything in the comments box. This shouldn't be something that bothers us. So many countries, so many teams have not had an issue and captaincy does not depend on the, your longevity in the Ghana Black Stars team or in any team whatsoever. You can't be bought today and be named the captain of a side. It shouldn't worry anyone whatsoever. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know your thoughts on everything. The captaincy issue bothering the Ghana Black Stars and hindering our progress in tournaments. I'll leave you with Samuel Lasekufo. Some wise words he has for the players. Enjoy your day. For me, it's nothing to me. Uh, it's just a band. Somebody can be on the floor of play. I remember when I was playing with the likes of Abedi Pele, Tony Abua, Frank Kamankwa, and all those players. Because I speak a lot in the field of play from behind to organize the team. Abedi will always say, everybody should listen to Sami because I see things from behind and I can organize my team very well. So it wasn't anything like you being a junior player or whatever it is. How many times did I captain for Ghana? But I don't want to be just like, you know, it's like a captain here and there, problems. No, I don't want it. Like I said, 2002, it happened when they wanted to get rid of CK. I just told them, you know, have you spoke to CK? It could be possible that I play Blaster before CK. Because I play Blaster 92. I don't know, maybe CK 92, the same 92. But for me, it's just a band. Steven was the captain. But when we qualified for the World Cup 2006, he never did anything behind me. He yes. always come to me and just, you know, when we have a, maybe a conversation with the people, all the players, they will leave it to me because they know that I know. So I just have a conversation with the people who bring their ideas. He showed you respect. Hand. No, I mean, why not? Because I was there before he came, but I never even think about being a captain. Honestly, okay. I never. Because for me, it's, it's just a band. You show your leadership in the field of play.